What's going on, you guys? This is MXKDF, another HP Pavilion. Gonna be uh, up, gonna be two down disassembly. Show you how to do that. So there's a thumb screw here in the back. You're gonna remove it's using the Torx T15 screwdriver, and you're gonna slide it to the left. What I will do is I'll start it from the back. I'm just gonna use a drill. There's a hard rock cage in there, it's got two screws here in the top. To remove the front and front cover basil, all you have to do is a little closer, you press them up like this with generally your finger. And you're gonna remove the optical drive over here to secure. You'll lift this up like this gently. Disconnect the SATA and power cable. Disconnect the SATA power cable from the hard drive. And there's a secure clip. You press it down right here in the corner. In the right here in the middle. And your hard drive case should go down, slides out like this. And you can lift it up. Now you're going to disconnect the 24 pin and the 4 pin for the CPU power. It's got a secure clip there. You think you took your finger like this and you press on it before you, you remove it, pull it. Same with the 24 or 24 pin, you have to press on the middle right here, the secure clip, before you remove it. Remove the SATA cables. Power supply should slide to the right, and there's another secure clip. So you're gonna press on it with your screwdriver right here in the corner. It should slide to the right. The audio header. USB That's it in for the wireless antenna To remove the video card So there's a clip looks like so press it down So you remove the memory
Use for the CPU, rear system fan connector. You can disconnect that and uh, CPU fan here in the corner. You have to go in the back and uh, remove the screws from the rear system fan. Have to use the pliers. And here's the for the front panel power switch on and off and power LED hard LED in a corner. A little plastic so it comes out like this looks like. This is the smart card reader for the SD. So then you need a flathead screwdriver. And it's actually hold by the clips also. So what you have to do is they have flat a screwdriver and you have to bend here so you can really take the wire out. Here's the power switch, power on and off, power LED, hard drive LED. I'm going to start removing the CPU cooler heatsink. And it's, uh, it's got four screws, two in the bottom, two in the top. What you have to do is take a paper towel and wipe down the old thermal compound from the CPU before you remove it. Now I'm going to start off from the bottom and start removing the screws for the motherboard and it will be uh, forgot to remove the CMOS battery like this 
and comes out. So there's one screw in the corner, one in the middle, and one on the right. This one I can't reach, so I have to use the other screwdriver. It's a Torx. So here's all the screws. So here's the motherboard, it's a Micro ATX. And be the last part is uh, removing the backplate eye shield. To do that, just take a screwdriver. That's how it comes out. So yeah guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.